Ja. Ich müsste wieder da sein. Willkommen zurück. <lacht> ja. Hallo, willkommen zurück. Test 1, 2, 1, 2. Ich glaube... Das Spiel hat gerade echt den Stream gekillt. Das habe ich auch noch nicht gehabt. Oh mein Gott. Also, liebe Leute, willkommen zurück. Christmas Land gibt es da doch nicht. Eieiei, was, wer bin ich und wenn ja, wie viele bin ich? <lacht> also. Äh, das habe ich in der Tat auch noch nicht gehabt. Ich glaube, das war ein Zeichen. Das war wirklich ein Zeichen, obwohl... Jetzt, also ich bin ja wirklich angefixt, wie dieses Spiel ist. Also erstmal mit der Steuerung. Die Steuerung war überhaupt ganz komisch, gar seltsam eingestellt. Was ist denn hier los, ey? Also. <lacht> ähm... Gut, aber es ist ein Zeichen. Dann werden wir das jetzt sein lassen und... Was anderes noch zocken. Wir sind auch fast alle diesjährigen Games schon mal durchgegangen, weil einige auch gar nicht so lange gedauert haben. Es war ein Zeichen in Candy. Ich würde das genauso sehen. Oh mein Gott. Dann geben wir uns jetzt einmal... Äh, warte kurz. Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Okay, play. Dann lass uns mal gucken. Wird's angezeigt. So. Dann, äh. <lacht> okay. Oh, laut! Halt, stopp. Ah, okay. Who loves story? Easiest enemies. Ach oh Gott, sogar mit Schwierigkeitsgrad. Mal noch einen kleinen Ticken weniger. It was the night before Christmas, when all through really not a creature was fighting, no one in a fray. No stockings were hung by the chimney with care. They all had been naughty, so Saint Nicholas there. <laughs> okay. Oh, warte mal kurz. Hier kann ich einfach mal... Eben kurz. Würde ich jetzt glatt auch mal den Titel des Games eingeben. Könnte witzig sein. No, uh, Nicholas there. Cthulhu was nestled all snug in non-Euclidean space. Hä? Huh? Pandy mute? Hallo? Hallo? Falscher Alarm. Okay. Ich dachte schon. Stream war am laggen. Ah, okay. Alles klar. So. Äh, gut. Dann äh, bin ich wieder da. Ähm. Gut. Cthulhu was nestled or snuck in non-Euclidean space with visions of destruction lighting up his cold face. A flong when out on the altar there arose such a clatter that Cthulhu toppled out of bed <laughs> to see what was the matter. There shall be no more poetry in my game, narrator. I promise nothing, 
But what's this? A present? From Santa? This cannot be. Goodness knows I've been anything but good this year. And yet it was a present and it did have a tag indicating that it was from Santa. Cthulhu opens the present. Yar! What foul sorcery is this? A dark mist envelops Cthulhu, stripping his power away from him. Not my power, that's one of my favorite things. Without my power, how am I supposed to destroy the world? No, this shall not stand. I shall have my revenge. I will not rest until the blood of Santa adorns my blade. Excuse me, but I do believe this is a family-friendly game. Do I look family-friendly to you? Plus, the game is literally called Cthulhu Saves Christmas. And save it I shall. Santa has lost his marbles. He must be stopped. To the surface world, my quest for vengeance begins. On the beachy shore bordered by the cliffs of insanity, Cthulhu spots a maiden beset by horrible monsters. A tutorial battle approaches. Basic tutorial 1. Recharge items hyper. Most character abilities can be used once and then they are disabled. Use a defend command like rest to recharge your character abilities. Okay. Items are shared by the party. They are recharged at the start of battle, but cannot be recharged mid-battle. Characters gain a hyper point each turn. When a character reaches their max hyper amount, they do into hyper mode. In hyper mode abilities are enhanced. They may deal more damage, have more targets or other bonuses. Plan ahead and make sure you have a powerful ability, ready to take advantage of hyper mode. Okay. Okay. And bam. Victory all enemies defeated. Crystal, thank you. Oh my gingerbread, you're Cthulhu, right? Just look at me, these tentacles and wings don't lie. I know granting boons is not in your nature, but I'm sure you'll make an exception for me. I need your help. Hard pass. Don't get your tinsel in a twist. I just need a teensy. Tiny favor and I'll be sure to make it worth your while. I doubt that, but continue. I am the snow maiden. Uh, I have to check out something. Wait. Of the winter highlands and spreader of holiday joy. I need your help to rescue my grandfather, Santa Claus. You're kidding, right? Have you seen the title of this video game? She's not kidding. The League of Christmas Evil has kidnapped Santa Claus. So pay the ransom fee and be done. They don't want money, they want Santa out of the way, so they can take over the holiday for, for themselves. They have been sending anti-presents, packages that when opened give the recipient the opposite of what they most desire. That must be why I felt my power draining. 
If they were powerful enough to kidnap Santa, they must be packing some serious firepower. And since your name is literally in the title, you have to be super strong, right? True, I'm indeed mighty, even when operating at less than optim optimal levels. If you help me rescue Santa, I guarantee that you'll be permanently on Santa's good list. No more coal, actual presence. And if I were to wish for the power to destroy the world, I'll make sure it's granted. Really? Santa is going to give me the power to destroy the world? That feels off-brand. He might have reservations, but I'm sure when I explain to him what happens at the beginning of Cthulhu Saves the World, he'll be fine with it. You have a deal, I shall save Christmas, only to destroy it. <laughs> Cthulhu and Crystal Claws have joined forces. Alles klar. So. Basic Tutorial 2. Running Menu Save Encounters. Hold the cancel button while moving to run faster. Or you can go to the other settings menu and set running as the default. Press the main menu button and you can adjust your equipped abilities, change your equipment and more. Don't forget to save often. A save menu can be found in the system submenu in the main menu. While traveling in dangerous areas, the encounter meter will fill up. When full, you'll be attacked. If you press the confirm button quickly, when a battle is about to start, you can avoid the battle. Okay? After defeating a certain number of enemies in a single region, the encounter meter will stop filling up, allowing you to explore freely. You'll also get some bonus XP when you clear out all enemies in an area. If you're feeling bloodlusty or just want more XP, you can start a battle manually from the main menu. Ah. Do the bare minimum, destroy everything in sight or anything in between. The choice is yours. Okay. Mm -hmm. Main menu. Insanity abilities and unite moves. Each character can equip four regular abilities and one recharge ability. In the remaining three slots are your insanity uh, abilities. Insanity abilities aren't chosen, they just pop up randomly from abilities you don't have equipped. As you level up, you'll gain more abilities including some that only have a chance to appear as insanity abilities. Don't like the current insanity ability set? Whenever you recharge your abilities, the game re-rolls for new insanity abilities. One more thing, now that you have two characters in your party, you can use Unite abilities. Ah, okay. Each Unite ability can only be used once per battle. Uh, can I be recharged? Unite abilities start out weak, but the longer the battle progresses, the more powerful they become. Unite abilities gain 10% charge each turn, maxing out at 100% charge on a character's 10th turn. Using a Unite ability while hyper gives it an extra 20% charge beyond the listed amount. It's like you used it two turns later. The extra charge cannot exceed the Unite's ability 100% charge cap, but can be used 
for more powerful unites uh, unites uh, earlier in the battle. That is all for now. We now return you to your scheduled battle, already in progress. Okay. Call Kraken. Okay, und dann steht dabei 10% Ch Charge. Wenn wir also, je länger wir warten, alles klar. Nice. Hot Chocolate. Ah, L.I. Heal. Okay. Bam. Okay. Lässt sich gut und nice an. You got a pain pill. This item bestows a buff that lets you survive a fatal blow. Ah. Uh. Uh, kurz abspeichern. Ah, hier kann ich. Das ist ein bisschen seltsam. Musik. Ah ja. Okay. Äh, und dann konnte man noch kämpfen. Uh, uh. Wer ist das denn in der Mitte? Ah, da rechts haben wir dann die Anzeige, wann wer wie dran ist. Genau, und jetzt die Tentacles kann ich gerade nicht mehr nehmen. Die müssen sich jetzt wieder... Alles klar. Necronomicon. Insane Bane. Power Alignment. Ah, hat sie äh, keinen... Party Defend, Recharge. Okay, muss ich mal gucken, wie das allgemein funktioniert. Was er nice ist. Na. Ah, okay. Dann jetzt noch acht Kämpfe hier zu bestehen in der Region. Mhm, okay. Das ist gelb. Shadow Sword. This weapon for Cthulhu Boosts is dark. Äh, uh, Dingsies. Equip Equipment. A plus. Okay. Und jetzt kommt wieder ein Kampf. Jetzt. Ah, okay. Und dann könnte man theoretisch...
Okay, jetzt habe ich einmal den Kampf avoided. Na. War zu erwarten. Ja, perfekt. Einer ist schon mal hinüber. Oh. Das ist ja wirklich so ein komplettes Rollenspiel, ne? Ja, und von da sind wir gekommen. Nee. Strong Wand. This weapon for Crystal isn't actually that strong. Oh, huh? hallo? Okay. Was geschieht denn hier? Was war das denn? Und? Ja, stimmt, man kann ihm dann relativ einfach entkommen, dem Kampf. Das ist ja eine witzige Mechanik. Ja doch, da war ich. Na, ah, war ich zu lahm. Was ist denn das? Arctic Beast. An Apex Predator. Ja, nice. Das ist ganz niedlich, doch, kann man machen. Na komm, nehmen wir mal mit. Und tschüss. Das ging schnell. Ah, nehmen wir mit. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. Bonk. Okay, und dann kann man auch die ganzen Geschichten austauschen. Bam! Oh, Level Up, sehr ja, nice. Da geht's nisch weiter. Noch drei Kämpfe hier, ja komm, die nehmen wir mal mit. Absolut kein Trash, im Gegenteil. Gefällt mir sehr gut. Also echt, gefällt mir richtig gut. So, dann kämpfe noch. Und die sind nicht da auch noch. Na egal. Na, ah, sehr gut. So, einen Kampf noch und dann dürfte es hier nichts mehr geben. Necronomicon. 
Jetzt könnte man einfach mal gucken. Oh, nice. Ja, es gibt Möglichkeiten dadurch. Nice. So, Level Up für beide nehmen wir. So, jetzt ist hier kein Kampf mehr, der... Ah, ich kann aber nach wie vor kämpfen. Okay, das ist nice. Um ein bisschen zu grinden oder so. Und ansonsten funktioniert das so ähnlich wie bei, bei Baldur's Gate 2 oder 1 damals. Glaube ich, wo man eine bestimmte Anzahl... Wenn ich das recht in Erinnerung habe. Wenn man eine bestimmte Anzahl an... Ähm, an... Äh, Einsetzen für Fähigkeiten und so weiter hat. Ah, Battles 0. Also hier zieht sich das weiter. Okay. A fur rope. This armor for crystal is better than nothing. Crystal! Ich hab was! <lacht> so warm, so furry. Das ist wirklich besser als gar nichts. Aber gut. Oh, das sieht schon nach Boss aus. <lacht> Jack Frost. <lacht> so you're the one who is up to snow. Good. Release my grandfather. Oh, ho, ho. The League of Christmas Evil has lived in the shadow of that old cood for far too long. Now it's our time to shine. If by shine you mean the Japanese word for to die... Then you are correct. Äh. Oh, ich sitze direkt vor dem Dings, ne? Naja. Warte mal. Das können wir nochmal ändern. So, ich schieb mich mal ein bisschen weiter hier zur Seite. Dann können wir die Visagen nämlich besser sehen. So. It's, an, it's a JRPG. You have to admit some of the players are familiar with melodramatic Japanese battle cries. I don't have to admit anything. That's the point. With a big man out of the picture, I'm in charge. You talk big, but this early in the game, there's no way that you have the stats to back that up. Basic Tutorial 4 Ailments Ail hell. See, we're not even out of the tutorial yet. I'm a tutorial boss? That cannot be. Um, where was I? Basic Tutorial for Ailments There are seven Ailments Insanity, Stun, Disarm, Poison, Charm, Enrage and Vulnerable. The first and most important ailment is is insanity. Make an enemy insane and they'll take more damage from dark attacks and deal slightly more damage. Insanity always succeeds, but other ailments aren't guaranteed. You may need multiple attempts to wear down an enemy's ailment HP. Stun skips a turn, disarm lowers attack, Poison takes damage each turn. These ailments are easier to inflict when the enemy is sane. Charm attacks allies. Vulnerable lowers defense. Enrage lowers AOE damage and is easily taunted. These ailments are easier to inflict against insane enemies. One last thing. Each time you inflict an ailment... On an enemy, the enemy gains ailment HP for that ailment, making it harder to inflict again. S are you gone? Uh, done? <laughs> so boring. I was just doing my job. Don't be sad, narrator. I'm sure with the power of the tutorial of ailments, we're sure to win this battle. Ho, 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 enough tutorializing let's fight hmm. some of them are all earth damage oh, nee, nee. Ein 
allem. Und das war's schon. Victory! I can't believe I lost to a tentacle man and Santa's little brat. We slayed you and don't you forget it. Enough idle chat. Tell us about the League of Christmas Evil. Oh, 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 you are too weak to deal with the other seven. I mean, six members of the League of Christmas Evil. Tell us which League member has Santa Claus. Never. You're just going to have to interrogate them all yourself. There's no chance that the next League villain we fight has the claws. Is there? The players who spent good money on this game would be rather disappointed if that was the case. They probably got this game in one of those 10 million games for a penny bundles. Let them be disappointed. Since I've been defeated, I might as well give you a tip. You'll never rescue Santa unless you master the power of... Oh god, oh god. Relationships. Don't you mean relationships? It's my game, I'm from Relay. The terrible pun stays. <laughs> Spend time with different people in town to improve your relationships. And get cool stuff. I like cool stuff. Defeat the other Christmas League of Evil members, forge lasting relationships with others and you just may rescue Santa. Whatever you can tell me what to do, if I rescue Santa I'll be on my own terms. What's this feeling? Oh, I see. I'm being summoned away into a different RPG franchise. Hey ho! Now that that's over with, let's head to Christmas Land. Welcome to Christmas Land, the Christmas Christmasiest place on earth. Vertagen! I can practically feel the good will towards men seeping into me. I'll get Blitzen on finding our next Christmas League of Evil target. But it could take me a while. It'll take a week. It will ta always take a week. You heard the narrator. That leaves you with plenty of free time to take in the sights and make friends. <laughs> I will forge unbreakable relationship bonds with others. But only for my own dark purposes. And in doing so, you'll discover that the love of Christmas was inside you all along. Or everyone else will go insane and the tormented spirits will make my tummy happy. Either way, it'll be fun. I've booked you a room at one of the nicest places in town. Here, let me show you. Crystal takes Cthulhu to his hotel room. Not bad, not bad, minion. This room will suffice. Now what should I do with the rest of my day? It's time to go to sleep. But it's not even noon yet. Doesn't matter. One activity a day. Them's the rules. You're not the boss of me. Cthulhu feels incredibly tired and decides to go to bed. <laughs> Ah, oh, he's so cute when he is sleeping. I wonder what would happen if I stick his hand in his in this bowl of water. It is now Christmas Eve the second. This feels wrong. What next? Mall, post office, movies. Soup Kitchen Expedition. St 
start an expedition. Reward Big Sword. Spend time at the mall. Reward Fencing Sword. In a bar, Cthulhu discovers a lead on a cool expedition. Cthulhu sends Crystal to go complete it. Crystal returns. We left Christmas land and took a bus to Innsmouth. I had a good feeling. This area is famous for unholy abominations. But I tried my best. As a result, we were able to get it. There was one inn that really stood out. I booked a room with faith. Inside was a treasure I'd never seen before. A big sword. So this job was a big success. You got a big sword. Ach schade. Hätte man auch gerne mal als kleine Nebenmission mit einbauen können. Aber gut. This weapon for Cthulhu is very big and very sword. Oh no shit Sherlock. It is now Christmas Eve the third. Cthulhu decides to go to the post office. It's very busy. Welcome to the post office. How can I help you? Are you hiring? Of course, Christmas time is always our busiest time, so we were always uh, looking for part-timers. So what made you want to apply at the post office? I've always loved mail. Reading mail, moving mail, stealing mail, I mean, a uh, ceiling mail. Me too. I'm quite the mailophile. Always, pardon, always have been. I think you'll be a welcome addition to the team. Cthulhu has been hired by the post office. Now just stop by whenever you've got some free time and we'll be sure to put your talents to good work. Here you go, don't forget to wear the official uniform. Cthulhu got an enchanted tunic. This armor for Cthulhu gives him the unstoppable buff at the start of combat. Ah, okay. Is It is now Christmas Eve the 4th. Das ist eigentlich um die Leute entsprechend... Ähm... Um, Ah, hier, wie heißt das? Die Leute so auszurüsten und so weiter, ne? And with Crystal. So what's fun to do in this joint? I have just the place in mind. Crystal leads Cthulhu to a large park. There is a large outdoor ice skating rink filled with happy skaters. There is also a massive Christmas tree that's so tall the top can barely be seen. Oh, mal den Endspurt des Tees. I love it here. Being able to control ice with a wave of my hand makes it easy to do well at ice skating. But besides that, it's so peaceful here. Sometimes I like to find a bench to sit on and just gaze up. Look at the star on the tree and also look at the stars in the sky. Cthulhu, do you remember your first Christmas? Do I look like someone who celebrates Christmas? No. Santa decided early on to skip our house on his yearly trip of delivery. I'd see all the other creeping evils enjoying their brand new train sets and pop guns and what did I get? Nothing. But even if you didn't get presents, didn't you ever feel something deep within yourself? A lighter heart, a joyful spirit, a sense of hope? I'm too busy being evil to notice such trivial feelings. I can see that I have a lot of work to do if I'm going to get you to understand the joy of Christmas. But I'm just the person for the job. Oh, I'm so excited. I'll make sure to have a strategy all planned out for maximum Christmas spirit. 
This is going to be so fun. Ich bin mal so ehrlich, das kann man sich jetzt alles durchlesen. Way home all. Oh. Spots a dog chewing on a weird looking stick. A short tussle later, the dog is relieved of his chew toy. Cthulhu got a shield wand. This weapon for Crystal boosts her defense. Dann kriegt man immer ganz nette. Ganz nettes Loot. Okay, man kann relativ viele Dinge tun. Bomb. Back to the post office. Can you just have time to run in the front? There's no time for training. Hello, I'd like to buy some stamps. Sure, that'll be a million dollars. Are you sure about that? Quite sure. That seems expensive to me, but I really do need those stamps. Here you go. Thank you for your business. Next. Where are my stamps? I said next. I'm going to need to talk to your su supervisor. Do these look like talking to supervisor conditions? I've got a building full of customers. A trader on the inside and a package that needs to go to Toledo and that's not even in your dimension. <laughs> so when I say next, I mean next. Got it? The customer throws a knife at Cthulhu's head as he leaves the building. Unfortunately, no one in Cthulhu's party can equip knives, so it is not added to the inventory. The rest of the day passes in similar fashion. So how was your day? The customers were the worst, so needy, so demanding. Another Sibi in Candium. Thank you. Danke, danke, danke. Mm. Danke. Okay, der Geschmack hat sich über die Zeit verändert. Kann man nicht anders sagen. Oh, da ist einiges an Tee daneben gegangen. Wie konnte das denn passieren? Okay. So. We're the worst. So needy, so demanding. Tell me about it. Post offices used to be more focused about the mail. Now they're all about customer service. Bin grad wieder hingesessen, war schnell bei meiner Mutter drüben. Wir sind Nachbarn. Alles klar, willkommen zurück. Check out what I found in the unclaimed bin. It's all yours if you want it. Cthulhu gets a bomb. This item deals fire damage in combat. End of my shift, see you next time. Cthulhu feels the pressure on his head as if someone is trying to smother him with a pillow. Ha ha ha! This is, in fact, what is happening. Wakey, wakey! Oh my god! Get off me! Wake up, Cthulhu! I found someone who knows where a League of Christmas Evil member is hiding. This is Baba Yaga. <laughs> I'm Baba Yaga-chan. Pleased to meet ya, boss. Oh my god. The League of Christmas Evil is in the last place you'd expect. Santa's very own, own toy workshop. When the cat's away, the mice will play. I only do chicken metaphors. When the chicken's away, the chicken will play. Makes sense. The chicken are on vacation, so they're having a good time and play. Not particularly relevant though. So, new girl with a chicken on your head. What's with a chicken on your head? I like chickens. That's it. I'm a trendsetter. Everyone will be wearing a chicken on their head next season. Baba Yaga, Baba Yaga. I think I've heard of you. Aren't you supposed to be a lot older? I'm actually a thousand year old witch. I just look like a kid. Seriously? 
No, that's nuts. Anyone who tells you that is covering for something. What you see is what you get. Indeed. <laughs> Thanks for the lead. Let's go to Santa's workshop tomorrow. I'm coming with. I hardly think we need to take some kid. And a chicken. Don't be dissing cluck cluck. Bug wack. On our chest, we can handle things just fine by ourselves. And that's where you're wrong. Baba Yaga and Cluck Cluck have joined your party. I hate it when he does that. In combat, Baba can gain chicken power. Using a chicken move will spend all chicken power in order to boost the ability's power. At 100% chicken power, chicken moves are twice as effective. At 200%, three times as effective. Use the power of chicken wisely in order to save Christmas. If she wants to join us in our noble quest to rescue Santa, I say the more the merrier. I don't want to rescue Santa, he can stay out of the picture forever for all I care. Look at me, I'm Santa, and I'm a big fat stupid head. What? Surely you can't mean that. Santa has been stiffing me on presents for years. I'm going to find him and make him give me what's rightfully mine. With interest. I've changed my mind. Baba Yaga, let's make the big man pay. You got it, boss. I feel like I'm losing control of the narrative. Tell me about it. It is now Christmas Eve the 7th. Just a few days ago this place was bustling with a happy sound of elves hammering, sewing and otherwise building toys. Unfortunately, the Elvish Union has a strict no Santa, no work policy. As soon as Santa was kidnapped they all abandoned their posts. Good guys have loyal followers. Santa's just a no good capitalist piggy slave driver. <laughs> Was für Vorwürfe? Gegen good old Santa. Mann, Mann, Mann. Providing all the milk and cookies anyone could want is hardly the action of a slave driver. Whatever he is, he is my meal ticket to getting my powers back. We'd better search the place. Maybe we'll find some leftover toys. I doubt it. This place looks cleaned out. What's that, Cluck Cluck? You smell trouble? It's a little known fact that chickens have an amazing sense of smell. One that rivals the fiercest bloodhound. I don't think that's true. Besides the regular assortment of random encounter monsters, Cluck, Cluck, Cluck says she detects the presence of 12 bad little boys. The you lads. They've been eyeing Granddaddy's Christmas Kingdom for years. They'll be yeeing, yeeing a new kingdom soon, a black eye. Na ja, dann, mal hinein in die gute Stube. Was hat sie denn? Wind? Na, okay. Okay. 
Okay, disarmed. Lake. Mhm. So, ein paar Minuten mache ich noch in dem Game. Aber das könnte man auch gerne die Tage vielleicht am Dienstag anstatt äh, Nio machen. Wobei Nio möchte ich auch weiterkommen. Mal gucken. One, one, one. <laughs> mm. Chicken feed. Poison chicken. Got a poison mist. This item inflicts poison on an enemy. Die Frage ist nur, sind das Consumables, die man dann verbraucht, oder kann man die pro Kampf quasi immer weiter benutzen, halt einmal oder so? Naja. Das sind ja ganz faszinierende... Oh, damit hatte ich jetzt gar nicht gerechnet. Uh. Oh, die halten etwas mehr aus. Ah, da, da war ich zu Beginn. Stun Chicken. Oh, ich müsste mir vielleicht noch die neue Ausrüstung angedeihen lassen. Mal gucken, dass wir... Nee. Oh, 
und der nächste kommt. Da. You got an antidote. Okay, da geht's dann weiter. Bleiben trotzdem erstmal hier. Okay, da geht's auch noch weiter. Und der nächste kam. Uh, das sind wieder mal viele. Und tschüss. Einmal in die Mappe. Boah, ich werde merkt gerade, wie ich richtig müde werde. Und der nächste. Drei Stück sind hier noch in der Gegend. Hast vergessen nochmal zu speichern. Das sollte nicht passieren. Und der nächste Kampf. Hatten wir das oben rechts schon mal? Mm, nice. Und wieder ein Level Up. Insgesamt gefällt mir das Spiel aber ganz gut bisher. Ist nett, nichts weltbewegendes, aber als JRPG irgendwie eine witzige Idee mit Cthulhu. Und die Musik gefällt mir sehr gut. Ach, den letzten Kampf hier können wir auch noch machen. Eggnog.
Dark Blast. Na okay, oben ist Truhe. Got a Stone Pestle. For Baba boosts her physical damage. Ich kann die Gunst der Stunde einmal nutzen, um vielleicht auch schon mal etwas Werbung für Dienstag zu machen. Denn da kommt... Oder da ist ähm, Marion dann wieder zurück. Da werden wir um 19 Uhr äh, dann Elden Ring weiterspielen. In unserem Walkthrough, den wir da hatten. Freue ich mich sehr drauf. Und was ich vorher spiele, weiß ich noch nicht. Muss ich gucken. Vielleicht habe ich Bock, dieses Game weiterzuspielen. Vielleicht äh, spiele ich aber auch Nio weiter. Das wird sich dann zeigen. Oh, wird lustig. Ja, das wird sehr gut und sehr lustig dann. Definitiv in Candium. Und ja, vorher werde ich auf jeden Fall auch noch was machen. Wahrscheinlich. Oh, wahrscheinlich dann eher so. Alter, entschuldigt, Leute. Wahrscheinlich dann so um im Nachmittagsbereich um 15 Uhr oder so. Muss ich gucken, wie ich das alles insgesamt so mache. Auch mit Essen und so. Aber das wird sich dann zeigen. Ja, ist schade. Also, mit den Zwangskämpfen finde ich nett. Ich meine, man kann ja hier auch freiwillig kämpfen. Das finde ich sehr geil, die Mechanik. Das ist irgendwie ungewohnt, aber ganz cool. Burn, Baby. So. Smack. What the Forge? Hello. Bam! How are you? Nice that you're popping in! Another level up. We will save Christmas with Cthulhu, together with Cthulhu. How are you? No. Ja. Bam. Elden Ring in Candium im Multiplayer ist wirklich so spaßig. Diese Kombi-Attacken sind auch sehr... Das ist ein schönes System. This game really got some nice... Nice ideas. Ich mach mir das einfach selber. Gott, das hört sich auch schon wieder so missverständlich an. One, alive, heal, alive. Only one, one, one. Okay. Chest. The Tinker Dress for Baba. Baba Yaga. Oh, uh, no. Nope, 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 nope. Ich mach das immer einfach selber. Das ist eine nette Idee für die Leute, die dann wirklich nicht so schnell da äh, so viel Zeit mit dem Kämpfen verbringen wollen. Ist das eine nette Sache. Mortar Combat. 
Vom Winde verweht. Blown away. Electricity. Whoa. No. Tutorials. Mistletoe. I know it deals double damage. Mm. Natürlich nicht viel. Bam. Victory. You lad. Santa has abandoned you all. If you want any toys, you're going to have a bow to bow to us, yo. You don't get any points for rhyming with all with yo, yo. You rat, Santa hasn't abandoned us. He's been kidnapped. No, I'm Dragon. Rat is over there. Huh? Hi there! <laughs> With Santa out of the picture, we decided that it was time to go global. And what's more global than China? Our Icelandic names were so hard to pronounce for the rest of the world, but everybody knows the animals of the Chinese zodiac. Wait, so that means that one of you is named Chicken? Rooster, actually. Chicken would be better. Call yourselves whatever you want. Release the jolly old man to us or perish. There's twelve of us and only three of you. You're the ones who are going to do the perishing. 
Actually, the game engine only allows for five enemies at a time. Seven of you are going to have to sit this one out. No fair. And the Yule Cat gets a spot on the roster. Ah. So technically, only four of the Yule Lads get to fight. Four of you and a cat versus one of me? I like those odds. Don't forget about us. Yule Cat. Liquor Lad. Meat Thief, Door Slammer, <laughs> Sniffer, Sniffer. Oh, electricity. Hat er geheilt gerade oder was hat er gemacht? Insane Vein Power Element. Mal gucken, ein bisschen heilen könnte nicht schaden. Ja. Tentacles. Baba Yaga. <lacht> Langsam gehen die. Na, es könnte sein, dass das irgendwelche Statusdinger. Ah, okay. Und auch wiedersehen. Okay. We beat them, boss. Can't we have a rematch with the other seven you lads? No, that would be needlessly repetitive. Chestnuts. Now that we've defeated you thanks to a game engine limitation, you must tell us where Santa is. He's not here, I can tell you that much. How ridiculous would it be for us? 
to hide Santa in his own workshop. No, you're do going to have to face the other six. I mean, five members of the Christmas League of Evil first. Give us the leftover workshop toys. We smashed them all to bits. Get out! Faced with a red hot fury of Baba Yaga, the Yule lads flee the premises. Cthulhu, Crystal, and Baba all head back to town, discouraged but not defeated, and a new day dawns. It is now Christmas Eve the 8th. Good morning, boss. Cthulhu opens his eyes. This time he is not being smothered with a pillow. <laughs> Can I ask you something, boss? This early in the morning? No. But it's about you. I'm listening. How do you get your own game? Two, actually. There's also Cthulhu Saves the World. I've been trying to pitch developers on Baba Yaga's Poultry Tycoon, but nobody's greenlighting it. No wonder, that's a terrible name for a video game. Just look at Cthulhu Saves Christmas. Cthulhu is me, so it's awesome. Everybody likes saving things and Christmas caching. Kaching. So that's all just one big money grab where you pick popular words and string them together? Not quite. You still need a great elevator pitch. Nobody wants to tycoon chickens. But a dating sim where everyone's a rooster or a chicken? That would sell. And you could use the same portraits for all of the chickens and save money on asset production. Nobody would even notice. The right people would notice a catchy name, a non-existent budget and a bizarre concept are your tickets to video game superstardom. But I want my video game to be good. Sorry, I wasn't listening. My agent just landed me a starring role in a new pachinko game. I'll be going now, boss. Good talk. I think Alyssa LaSalle from Cosmic Star Heroine is in town. Maybe she could offer some pointers. That's it for today. This voice from beyond demands you go to sleep. It is now Christmas Eve, the night. Jetzt können wir das alles wieder machen, alles klar. Wir können sogar abspeichern jetzt, perfekt. Dann machen wir das doch einfach mal. Obwohl ich nehme mal oben, kann ich unten vielleicht mal nutzen für einen privaten Walk. Okay. Ah. Ja, sehr schön. Okay, dann machen wir für heute mal Schluss, wenn ich den Mauszeiger wieder finde. So. Ihr Lieben, es war mir wieder ein Fest. Es hat wieder Spaß gemacht mit euch. Uah. Der Tee ist hier auch etwas ungünstig. So, ich guck mal eben, ob noch jemand... Streamt auf jeden Fall. Dankeschön fürs Reinschauen. Thank you for popping in. Danke in Candium fürs Chatten. Und ja, wir gucken mal, wann ich dann wieder online bin. Spätestens am Dienstag. Morgen und übermorgen wahrscheinlich nicht. Aber sag niemals nie. Oh, Entschuldigung. Und ähm, ja. Yeah. Uh, on Tuesday I will be back online. Um, first... I really don't know. Maybe I will continue with Cthulhu Saves Christmas. And then uh, there will be at 7 o'clock p.m. CET 
uh, Elden Ring co-op with Marion. After her, um, uh, after the birth of her child, she's already again able to stream and play Elden Ring with me. So we will have much fun with our co-op. And yeah. And uh, when I go online with the other game, maybe Neo, maybe Cthulhu, uh, let me see, I think round about 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock p.m. CT on Tuesday. Tomorrow and uh, on the first uh, Christmas day I won't be online, I think, because I need some off time and some holiday time. So, have all a nice... Christmas or um, some nice celebration days, however, wherever you are. Uh, ich wünsche euch allen schöne Festtage, schöne uh, Feiertage. Danke in Candium. Und um, wir sehen uns dann am Dienstag wieder. Und raiden wir noch? Hey, gucke mal, ob wir noch uh, raiden. Nee, ich glaube, heute habe ich einfach keine große Lust zu raiden. Insofern. Machen wir heute einfach mal so Schluss. Danke fürs Reinschauen. Macht's gut, euer Pandi. Sincerely yours, Pandi. Have a good time. We will meet us again. Thank you so much. Goodbye. Auf Wiedersehen.